What's up everyone, Ridley Ken here with another Xbox 360 World of Tanks video. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the T-71, that's going to be our new tank line we're going to be going down to reach the tier 10 American T-57. Now, uh, I did have a video of this yesterday uh, ready to go, but I just, I didn't feel like it was, it was good enough. Um, so I threw it away, uh, went to work last night and decided to redo one today. But first, before we start off, there's two announcements I want to make. One, uh, when you guys send me your pictures of like your, you know, your best battles and stuff like that, try to make sure you get that first screen that gets up, that comes up, like all the details on it, like so I can see the badges, the medals, and different things like that. So if there's a lot of medals and stuff, we could talk about the ones you got, like if there are some really hard ones to get. Also, make sure you show me the second screen. Now you can mark out everybody else's names and stuff like that, but at least this gives us a detailed description of like what you did, like how many rounds you used and this and that, because it would be interesting to see like if an FV used all of his rounds to get a certain amount of points and stuff like that. So, um, number two and the most exciting news for you guys and me is mark your calendars, September 28th is going to be our next subscriber party guys that's going to be not this sunday coming up but next sunday now and you guys get to decide how you want to play it there's two options um one we could go back to the original way we did subscriber parties where we did uh just three people me and two other people grouping up together and doing random battles which allows us to pick you know I have a more variety of tanks that we can use and stuff like that. Um, but we have less control over the battle because it's only three of us. Now we can go with option two also which is the platoon wars or platoon battles uh, and we can have up to seven people playing but the bad thing is is that um, I will have to put down like I did last time like there's going to be certain time frames for certain tiers like in the morning time I had tier six and seven I believe together and then uh, in the afternoon I did tier eight nine and tens so but the good thing about you know platoon war is that we can control the battle pretty much as long as we don't get grouped with another uh, platoon we should be fine with you know ruling the whole battle and we decide how it's gonna end so anyways guys leave me uh, a comment at the bottom of this video letting me know and on Saturday I will let you guys know exactly which one um, you guys have voted for stuff like that and I'll give you more of the details of how we're gonna do those battles and stuff like that but I can't do that now until you guys vote so remember put your uh, comments at the bottom and let me know which style you would like to do alrighty guys so the T71 um this is a badass little light tank. I haven't used light tanks in a while. Uh, and I started playing this a couple days ago, and I'm in love with it. Uh, this is going to be a tank uh, that I'm going to keep. That's why it's already camoed right now, because I'm going to keep this tank. It is a bastard tank. It's like a, an annoying uh, mosquito that you get that you can't just smack. You know, it just it, it lands, but you always miss it, or, or maybe a fly. I mean, this thing is very, very annoying. Um, it might not seem like there's much to it, but this thing has a lot of potential to really change the, uh, the way the war is won. And uh, I had a lot of great battles the other day where I came in first place because not only was I spotting like crazy, but I was surrounding tanks that were a lot higher than me and I was tearing their asses up because why? I'm fucking fast and their turrets can't catch up with me. So we're going to talk about this tank right now. So, uh, the hit points on this tank is 840, which is not a lot. Of course, it's a light tank. It's it's like an Arnie, pretty much. Uh, I mean, it's a lot lighter than an Arnie, but it, you got to think of it like an Arnie uh, armor kind of thing. Like, it's going to only take like one hit to kill, pretty much. Now, this thing can take maybe one or two hits, depending on where it is hit, but usually it's not going to last very long. Now, the price for this thing is a little expensive, but uh, it is a tier 7 and it does like great view range and mobility is awesome with it. And then also the uh, speed is, is great. Um, it does cost 
400,000 silver. It is kind of pricey, but there are some other perks to this too. Uh, like I said, the speed limit. Now, when I've looked up and what I've seen is this thing goes anywhere between 54 kilometers an hour to 64 kilometers an hour. Uh, I've even seen it go higher depending on the terrain and stuff like that. So, it, it's a fast fucking tank. It's very, very fast. Uh, the whole armor in the front is 25, on the side it's 22, and on the rear it's 19. The turret uh, has armor of 22 all the way around. There's no difference in the whole armor on the turret. So Now the other nice thing too, as I said, the mobility of this thing, not just the speed, but how it quickly it can turn itself and get itself going a different direction and stuff. The traverse speed is 42 degrees a second. That's freaking fast. Um, that'll make sure that you can keep whipping around people pretty quickly. Um, <laughs> it's a nasty little tank. And we'll get to the gun and stuff like that once we uh, get into the packages and stuff like that. Because that's a neat little thing that I like about this too is the packages on this. So, like we always do, let's talk about the vulnerabilities of tanks. Now, we usually don't do vulnerabilities on tanks that we know we could one shot pretty much but on this one I think is kind of one of those you need to know because there are going to be situations that you might not hit this thing in the right spot and it might be good to know there are certain spots you can shoot to possibly ammo racket catch it on fire or, or do like a guy did to me the other day he took out my engine and my track so I could only repair the one and I was dead to the water so um, there are some certain spots I would suggest for it. Now of course the lower plate is going to be crap um, but the upper plate if you look on the left side of the barrel that's the way I'm turning right now uh, you can see like a little door area with two like handle grips uh, right there is actually an ammo storage spot if you shoot that area you can ammo wreck the person this is mostly for Artie or somebody on a hillside that's looking down on this tank now on the right side you can see the viewports uh, there's I believe four yeah one two three four um, that one of course would you know take out your commanders your spotters and stuff like that which has happened to me a couple of times with this tank um, now the turret on the front as you can see it's pretty freaking angled um, it's kind of like the T57 that's this is where the turret starts changing for that T57 line uh, it starts adapting that really slanted look and stuff like that um, for an autoloader now that's one thing I forgot to say this is an autoloader this is one of the first ones that um, in the higher tiers that you get for the American line so um, that's another thing that makes this, uh, this tank very special and nasty now like I was saying this angled armor is nice except for the left side where you can see where this extra gun turret is uh, you have a chance of ricocheting but also smacking underneath that little gun turret so I have ricocheted a good amount with this tank um, on the turret but nothing on the body yet so but I've only played this a little bit uh, I haven't really gotten to experience the best qualities of this tank yet uh, other than its speed and mobility and the ways that I've even torn up uh, the what is it the T54E1 uh, or is it E2 I can't remember it's the tier 9 uh, of this uh, tank line it's a medium tier 9 and I, I destroyed him I destroyed two Arties and a Jack Panther 2 all in one spot like I just kept whipping around them just kicking ass um, <laughs> eventually a, a E50 came around after I killed them and blew my ass up <laughs> but this is how nasty this tank can be um, moving to the sides now we're not going to spend too much time on this of course all of the wheels that hold up the tracks are easy spots there's no cover at all you can track this thing very easily which that's what I suggest the side is probably the easiest spot to hit for this tank. If you're trying to shoot it in the front or the rear, it's very easy for this tank to keep going left and right, left and right, and screw you over. But if you can get a good shot on the side, uh, you have less chance of missing, especially if you shoot way in the front. You've got a chance of it hitting at least in the back somewhere, uh, you know, guiding your shots a little bit further in front of this thing, especially when it's going full speed. Um, if you do get a chance to shoot this thing when it's stationary, the top right portion of the hull, uh, right above the tracks where it's completely empty, it's like a whole rectangle of the area, um, or the top left area, right here near the front, it's going to be the ammo storage area, kind of like on the top up here, 
Um, that's going to be an ammo storage area. I, I believe this whole front area is kind of like an ammo storage area. Anyways, there's a good place to ammo rack it. On the back right side is going to be um, the engine, of course, and where you catch it on fire and stuff like that. Now, if you look at the turret, you can see that little circle. It looks like a little bolt uh, going all the way through the turret. Uh, it allows the barrel to move up and down. Just like some of the other tanks we showed, like the tortoise, or not the tortoise, but the uh, FV and stuff like that. That is a very nasty spot to hit, too. It's one of the, you know, s certain spots you can hit on the turret that actually will damage this thing pretty nasty. Um, now, moving to the rear, you can see that, of course, this is going to be a nasty spot to hit. It, there's no real anglement to the back end. You can knock out the engine very easily by getting shot, uh, you know, shooting it in the ass. Now, the turret, on the other hand, you can see it's like a half moon uh, going from left to right. That actually kind of can be tricky. I've ricocheted some higher tiers that haven't been able to pin me in the back. Now, some have, some haven't. Uh, but I would suggest your best bet is to shoot the bottom portion of this tank. And, of course, the same thing on this side uh, as the other side. You've got your engine in the back, your ammo racking in the, uh, the front, and of course those weak spots on the side of the turret. Now let's get into the packages. Now the nice thing about these packages is you can see there's only one. That's awesome. Now that, that was the only thing that I was worried about when I got this thing is oh my god there's probably tons of packages before you know to get to unlock. Like on some of the other ones you had to do just to get to this tank. And this one is not bad at all. Because you only have one. And it only costs, what, 23,000 experience? And I got that very quickly with this tank. Um, very, excuse me, very, very quickly. So let's look at the original package real quick. Um, let's see. Right now, um, you had a smaller engine, so you weren't going to go as fast. Um... Now the rate of fire for the 76 millimeter on this one is 15 rounds a minute. Penetration 128 and 115 damage. That's just for your regular uh, standard rounds. In the middle is your premium rounds and of course your standard HE rounds at the end. So not a lot of pen for this tank uh, for its beginning package, but I didn't do too bad with it. Also the aiming time really sucks with this tank. Uh, you really need to have the gun lane drive and stuff like that to help with this uh, and also the vertical stabilizer to help while you're on the move because this is on the move tank it's not really a sitter now this second package the greatest package that you get for this tank well it's the only package you get but I love this thing because you go from the original penetration to 175 now you do drop in the amount of rounds you could do a minute, which is for 15 to 11 rounds a minute, but still. You got six shots in this thing, you're, you're pretty fucking good to go. Uh, and also you've got gain penetration and damage. Now, the gold rounds do increase the pen for, what, 30, 70, 80, 90, 100, okay, 40, so, um, or 35, sorry. But still, 210 is great. Uh, but the damage stays the same. Usually if I want to use gold rounds, I want a little bit more pen or at least a lot more damage for me to have to spend. I think it's actually 4,000 uh, a round on here or 6,000. We'll look at it when we go to consumables. And of course your HE rounds are pretty much the same, 38 and 185. So um, this is a nice and 100 times better barrel. Now your aiming time still the same, 2.29 pretty much. Uh, accuracy is 0.38, but with the vertical stabilizer and the gun lane drive, you should be good to go on that. Now, the view range is 400 meters. Now, that is badass because it is a tier 7, and I have gotten in just tier 7 matches, and or maybe some tier 8s, but still. With that, I'm outspotting everyone. I am kicking ass with this tank. Um, so, I, it's a great tank to have. Now, looking at the crew... You can see I don't have anything unlocked. This is like a random crew I picked to put in here. I didn't have really, really good crew to put in there because I let, I used my best crew uh, in the T110E5, which I still am debating whether to switch out or not and give my T110E5 
this crew. But then again, my T125 is really good with the crew I have in there. So I might just keep it that way. Consumables. This is what we were going to talk about. Now, as, as you can see, I do this, just the standard armor piercing and also the high explosive rounds. I, I just didn't change out the high explosives. I really don't care for them. I don't really need them. Um, you know, I, it, it always depends on the match. Either I get killed right away or I could last a while, but I usually am not going against people that I can't pin because I'm so fast, I'm going to get around them. So, And then this is what we're going to talk about. It's 5,600 for the, uh, the uh, gold rounds or heat rounds. So... I don't think it's really worth it. I mean, the pen goes up, but no damage. Um, I mean, it could do a little bit more in the sense you might get better rolls for your damage. I'm not sure on that one. But the pen is the only thing that goes up, which, like I said, I haven't had any real problems, even with the higher tier stuff like E50s or the T54, E1, or E2, whatever it's called. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I haven't had a problem with dealing with them. So, equipment. Now, this was a little tricky for me because I wanted to, you know, it's been a while since I ran a light tank. But then again, it's one of those where I'm like, what would be the best thing for this tank? Because the, the best parts of this tank is the speed and the, the mobility. Um, so, I was like, I can't treat this like a regular just spotting tank. Um, I'm going to have to use things that work well with its... Um, with its speed and mobility because this one I at least for me works best when I'm on the run not when I'm sitting still now um, that's why I went with the coated optics instead of binoculars binoculars will make you sit there you know for five seconds before they click on where the coated optics will you know always be on when you're traveling around now there is a difference between the what is it the extra 20% from the binoculars to the 10% but hey you're on the move you know, at least it's a little bit more view range. Now, vertical stabilizers. Excuse me. Um, the vertical stabilizer, you, this is a must-have because with this tank, even if you do sit still for a little while, I mean, once you have to get going um, and moving, you're going to want this to help you with shooting on the run. And then also with your crew experience, you're going to want to get some other things uh, too. Like, once this one experience thing gets done, uh, which I did not pick. It was already on there. It was just one of the crew members that already had some stuff on there. Uh, I'm going to get six cents because this is a necessity for this tank. Also, I want to get the terrain, the rough terrain one and stuff like that to help with the accuracy and everything else while I'm on the run with this tank. Uh, so that's why I picked up the vertical stabilizer. It's going to be, and it has been a lot better with this, but it still needs improvements with the crew and stuff like that. And the last thing I'm going to get, now you guys would think, oh, camouflage, no, because I still have to sit stationary. Um, and I don't like sitting stationary with this thing. It's going to be the aiming speed with this. That's what I'm going to get. Uh, the toolbox repair, I'm going to tell you this. If you get hit, and like they did to me the other day where my engine's gone out and my uh, tracks have gone out, yes, I could possibly get going, but it depends on what tank's taking me out. Um... You know, there's no real benefit to this if I'm going to get taken out very quickly. So, I'd rather just have, you know, the enhanced gun laying drive. So, I can shoot on the run, at least try to do something. Of course, some people are like, well, why don't you do the small spall liner for, you know, if someone tries to ram you. Well, I'm sorry, but this tank is so light that it doesn't matter if you put this on or not. It's going to get blown up easily uh, by just a medium tank. So, uh, it's not really going to help you at all. So the improved ventil, uh, ventilation class, this could be a good one to have so I could get my crew members going very quickly. This is the other one that I was thinking about putting on, but I wasn't sure yet to do it or not. Uh, you know what, since looking at my silver right now, I spend a lot of silver buying this thing. Um, you know, the 1,400,000. I'll probably go ahead and select this one just to get my crew going very quickly. And then uh, I'll change this out with the enhanced gun laying drive later on once I get more of the money and maybe once I get more crew uh, time but all the rest of these are the same thing like really they're not gonna help you out but so much suspension can help out a little bit but you're still light tank you're you're gonna take damage doing jumps 
And that was the other thing I wanted to talk about before we take this thing out. Is, guys, this thing is fast. But it's also light and it doesn't have a lot of armor. It's going to jump in the air and it's going to splash around and it's going to smash itself up. I've done it numerous of times. Um, it makes for great videos, but uh, yeah, this thing could really damage itself. So you got to be very, very careful on where you're going. You need to know what's on the other side and stuff like that so you don't hurt yourself. Anyways, let's jump into this. Alrighty guys, we're on Melanovica and it's an assault battle. Um, <laughs> of course, high tiers again. Have no idea how I'm gonna work this one. I really don't. Uh, just gonna, I guess, do like most people do with this small tank and I don't know, just drive around. Uh, trying to just spot and keep running. That's my best option with this thing. Um, see what I can do. Some of these tanks can out spot me, so. See if we can get across this way. Whee! Spot anybody yet? Yes. There's one. There is another. Yeah. You're spotting these bastards. I don't think they can get up here in time to, to get me. So I'm just going to keep running across. That's all I'm going to do. If I can, I'm going to keep <laughs> freaking spotting these people. <laughs> That's all I can do. Just keep spotting. Just keep spotting. And turn. Come back around, see if I can spot somebody else. <laughs> Uh, I do get some points doing this, so that's why I'm doing it. <laughs> and eventually I'll start attacking. I'll start going in there and hitting some people, but at this moment in time, nah, not gonna happen. There's an ISU 152, guys. You'll have perfect range on them. See if we can chance this a little bit closer. Yeah, that was great. Let's chance it. We should probably not chance this. We should probably stick with our routine of using the buildings as our protection. Because it's not good. <laughs> it has not been good for us. Oh, gosh. Keep doing like we're doing. <laughs> you know that's gonna annoy them, man, because we're spotting them. And we're doing a great deal of spotting. But of course, this little bastard's gonna take all my points. Because all the people I spot, he's already got lit back up again. Why am I why am I following you? Why would I follow you? Seriously. I've got tons of people I'm lighting up and nobody wants to take these guys out. Come on. <laughs> I mean, I'm getting some good hit markers from, you know, assisting, but I think they could do better. Especially our Artie, which probably got killed by the other Artie who wanted to cheat, which as soon as I get a chance to go down there and kick his ass, I will. I'll avenge you, buddy. But now, this is pretty much my entire job. Going around, spotting these son of a bitches. Yeah, eat shit. Eat shit, all of you. So far, we've only gotten hit once, which is pretty badass. <laughs> I'm pretty happy about that. Doing really, really great on spotting. You really are. Just gotta keep moving. And I wish I knew where all their other tanks were. Because then I could go hunting for Artie. But 
very hard thing to do. And there's the E100 on the left. That's the way I would go. That's where the E100 is. Just because it seems like there's a lot of people over here. There's just a lot of people over here. That's kind of cutting it close, Ken. Keep moving. Gotta keep moving. Woo. Yeah. That's right. Look guys, I know you want me to follow you, but I'm not a heavy tank and I'm not going to follow you at the moment. Okay? I've got to help spot and do everything else I can. There we go. There's that E100 people. Maybe what I could do. There we go. Let's get some spots on. There we go. We'll go up through here. See if we can spot some more people. Woo! Alrighty. So, Artie's not over here. Artie's got to be back here somewhere. And we're going to tear Artie up. I told that guy I would avenge him. <laughs> Hello, Artie. Oh, yeah. You've been detected, Artie. Whee. And you're gonna kill yourself. You do understand, like, you can't shoot in there, right? Idiot. Like, if once you go into water, you can't fire. And he's like, oh, I would have died. Guys, don't do that. You actually lose a lot of experience from your crew and stuff like that for killing yourself. Wargaming's actually starting to crack down on people doing this stuff. Because they don't want people to sit there and just automatically kill themselves when someone's trying to get a top gun or anything like that. So, ooh, ooh. There's the RD. There's the RD. Hi, buddy. Ah, uh, you might shoot me, but you won't. You want to why? Because I'm gonna stop right here. Hi. <laughs> this is what I mean being a prick to these guys. Now I'm not going to rub on them because he can kill me if I do that. Now this is a whole new meaning to uh, freaking, you know, uh, Crazy Roy spinning in a circle. <laughs> Somebody must have watched Roy's ballerina video. <laughs> Alrighty, 54,000 silver, 2,000 experience. Let's see how we ranked up on the chart. Look at that, number two. See, I didn't really interact in the battle, guys. I did exactly what I needed to do. I'm not perfect at this tank. I, I'm definitely not perfect at this tank at all. There's a lot of things I still need to learn about it. But the thing is, is I did my job. I spotted. So the enemy team couldn't get but so close. And every time they did, I could spot everyone and they were getting shot at. So we were killing more than they were killing us. They couldn't get their spotting. Um, and that was the nice thing about having, you know, me as a spotter out there. I mean, I was the only light tank and nobody else on their team was really spotting. So it was nice. And then to get, a, you know, revenge for the other Artie was pretty badass. <laughs> Get the other guy to spin around it's like in the old west where you get you know they shoot at your feet and make you spin that's what i was doing <laughs> fucking the guy over Alrighty, guys well that's just one video we're going to do on the t71 i'm going to do some more uh possibly tomorrow remember to vote on your 
um, which way you want to do the platoon battles on September 28th. Remember, September 28th. And then on Saturday, I will let you guys know exactly how we're going to do it and how I want you guys to sign up and stuff like that. So, um, Also, if you guys like the video, uh, hit the like button and stuff like that. Thank you so much for supporting me. Um, you know, thank you for all you new subscribers and old subscribers that have been sticking it out with me. Uh, this is going to be a fun line to go down. I'm telling you, I see, foresee a lot of fucked up videos with this T-71. <laughs> Trust me, I've done a lot of stupid things with this tank already. Um, <laughs> it, it's going to be fun. So, anyways, guys, I'm Wizard Ken. Until next time, see ya.